Hey guys, this is Amanda from KevinAndAmanda.com and today I'm going to show you this awesome hack that I use to really quickly schedule a bunch of Facebook posts that include the link to the recipe on your blog as well as the link to pin it on Pinterest. Okay, first of all, here's what it does. Using one of your pins on Pinterest, right click to buffer the image and then paste the link to your post on your blog. With these magical settings, it will automatically convert everything for you. Let's watch that again. See how it automatically converts? So as you can see, it includes a link to get the recipe on your site, as well as a link to the pin on Pinterest so your readers can pin it for later. And as you just saw, it literally only takes a couple of clicks and a couple of seconds. All of the text like get the recipe and um, this little arrow I use is all completely customizable so you can change it to whatever you want to match your Facebook pages style. You'll need to be using Firefox and you'll need a couple of plugins to make this work. I'll include the links and instructions for everything you need to download in the post below. You only have to do this one time and it'll work forever. First you need to make sure you have the Firefox browser and then you'll need to be signed up for Buffer. Buffer is an app that lets you schedule posts on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and more. You'll need to have a Buffer account and have the Buffer for Firefox plugin. Then you'll need to install the FireGestures plugin for Firefox. This one's optional, but it makes it quick and easy to get the link to your blog post directly from the Pinterest pin. And finally, you'll need to download and install the Fox Replace plugin for Firefox. This is what makes the magic happen. So after you've installed Fox Replace, go to Tools, Fox Replace, and Fox Replace Options and you'll need to set up a couple of substitutions and I'll show you what they are. Okay, so the first one is, okay, so you know how on Buffer, um, when you buffer a link, it always says found at. Well, we're gonna change that to say pin for later. So anytime it says found at Pinterest, we're gonna change that to say pin for later. And here's where you can change it to say anything you want or change the little arrow. Um, just be sure you include the link to Pinterest. Um, this backslash in just adds a new line. So if you want a blank line in between the get the recipe and pin for later, you can just add a backslash in. If you don't want a line in between them, you can just delete that. Um, the second one you'll need is anytime there's a link to your site, so anytime there's a link to kevinandamanda.com, I have it say, get the recipe. So get the recipe, arrow, kevinandamanda.com. Um, and again, this backslash in is just adding a blank line underneath the description, and then the backslash in will be a blank line, um, and then get the recipe. So if you don't want a blank line, again, you can just delete that. And I will include um, everything you need to change uh, in the text of this post. Um, so you don't have to remember it from here. You can just copy and paste it um, from my post below. Okay, so, um, okay, and um, I'm not using this one right here, so we'll just ignore it. Um, and here's another substitution I have set up. Um, so this is just, a few um, little things that you might want to add to make it look a little bit better. So some of my pins on Pinterest have, you know, this line and Kevin and Amanda's recipes after it or this line and Kevin and Amanda after it. Um, so I have those set up to just um, replace with nothing. It'll just completely delete it. So that way it's not in the description of my Facebook post because that's not really something I normally put in my Facebook post. So I just have anything like that set up to just be replaced with nothing. It just deletes it. Um, this is a double quote right here. If you, you definitely want to set up to anytime there's a double quote, just replace it with nothing. And as you can see, I don't even have a space in here. It's just nothing. So anytime there's a quotation mark, um, just have it replaced with the nothing. So the way you would add a new substitution is you just go to add and then you can name it whatever you want um, and then substitutions and then you, you type in the text that you want to replace and then replace it with whatever you want and then be sure and click add right there because um, you can't just you know have your 
original text and what you want to replace it with. You can't just click OK. It doesn't work. <laughs> I have done that way too many times. So you have to click Add and then you can click OK. Then to start replacing, click Auto Replace and change the number to 3 seconds. I only turn this on when I'm actively scheduling posts because you probably don't want it converting things any other time. Then just click OK or Close. So now that you've got it all set up, you can start quickly and easily scheduling your post. You only have to do that setup one time and it works forever. Um, so as you can see, I've got several pins open in tabs. Um, my computer will handle about 10 Pinterest tabs open at once before it starts getting too slow. So I usually open about 10 at a time. It's really helpful if you have your own Pinterest board that's just recipes from your own blog. Um, then you can just go to that board and quickly pick out a few pins whenever you want. So to get started, you're going to highlight the description of the pin. I like to do things in assembly line style. I think it makes things go faster. So we're going to go ahead and highlight the description for all the tabs open. To quickly go to the next tab, just hit Control Tab on your keyboard. And then you can triple click to highlight the description. So then just hit Control Tab find the description, and then click three times. Control tab, click three times. Control tab, click three times. And then you're gonna go ahead and do that for all your tabs open. So then we'll go back to the first one. And so this is where the fire gestures um, plugin comes in handy, because you could totally just right click and say copy link location, but that's a little bit too much work for me. I'm super lazy. So to use fire gestures to quickly grab the link, hold down the control key, click and hold the mouse button over the image, and draw a rounded L shape. So now without ever having to like right click and try and find it, that just automatically copied the link. So we're going to right click, go to buffer this image, and then you're going to paste in your link. And as you can see, it changes it to get the recipe. So now if you have a good description on your pen, you don't ever even have to say anything. It just has the description, get the recipe, pen for later, add to queue, done. So let's do it for the next one. Hold down control, draw your little rounded L, just buffer this image, paste, and it changed it. So description, get the recipe, pin for later, add to queue, done. Let's do it again. Hold down control, buffer this image, um, get the recipe. And as you may can see, um, it had quotation marks around the description. So that's why I had you set up that substitution to delete the quotation marks. So. I mean, that's basically it. Now, anytime you want to start scheduling a bunch of um, Facebook posts, just open up Firefox, open up some Pinterest tabs, and start buffering with your Fox Replace substitutions to easily add your recipe link and Pinterest link all at once. You can easily schedule several posts in just a minute or two. And that's it. I hope that made sense, and I hope this helps you schedule your Facebook posts much quicker and easier. Thanks so much for watching!